and implement these tools. All right, this tool is called DIA, all right? DIA, and it stands for Decide in Advance. It sounds pretty simple, and it is, but I want you to get in the right mind, uh, the mind mindset of it, the mind, right mind frame, okay? So first of all, what you do is, what you can do at this point is remember, I want you to remember a time where you made a super powerful or big decision, right? Whether it was to have children, uh, to buy a house, to sell a house, to move, to buy a car, to switch careers, to quit a job. You know, those big decisions, right? Maybe it was to paint, to choose a paint color for the exterior of your house, right? It could be some of those too. Not necessarily life-changing, but they require a, a pretty investment, right? Like a pretty penny, um, you know, to buy furniture, to wh whatever it was, whatever it was, to buy a new, you know, in my world, it's a lot of uh, extreme sports people here, like, you know, the next step up to buy the super fancy bicycle or set of skis, to buy a motorcycle, right? Whatever it was for you, big decision that you made. Now, I want you to remember that moment when you, and I almost have to close my eyes to really be in it. I invite you to close your eyes too, to really be in that, in your moment. Remember that moment when it flipped into a certain decision. The decision was made in that moment. You hemmed and hawed. Heck, let's even think about something lighter. Think about all those, all that comparison that you're doing in Amazon when you're trying to buy something on Amazon and you're looking at all the reviews and you're looking at all the brands and you're looking at all the, right? Like you're hemming and hawing, right? You've made a big, you're going to make a big decision and you're hemming and hawing, you're sitting on it, you're studying it, you're asking people what they think, you're asking what they, you know, you're, you're, you're researching it, you're being responsible, right? And it just, it, you're going along, going along, going along. Finally, that point in time when you made the decision, because the decision happens in an, in an instant, in a moment, boom, decision made. Can't go back. Just moving in this direction that I chose. Decision made. Remember the power of that moment. Okay. Remember the resolve you felt of like, this is the way I'm going. This is it. This is it. Right. Remember the determination. Okay. That you felt as you were embarking in that direction where your decision was taking you. Also remember what it felt like to drop away all the other options and all the other choices. Just slid off. It's like a, you're carrying a heavy backpack with rocks in it. The moment you made that decision, that backpack, backpack just slips off. Oh, almost like an exhale moment, right? The weight of it, of possibly making the wrong decision, or should I do this? Should I do this? Or should I do that? The weight of that is just exhausted. Exhausting, right? The indecision is heavy, heavy and messy. And sometimes we sit in it because we're afraid to make the wrong decision. But at some point, sometime in your life, if you're listening to this, I know you've made important decisions. And I know you feel the power of making a decision and leaving everything else behind and not carrying that baggage with you. Remember the power in that moment. And that's what you're gonna step into, all right? This tool is called Decide in Advance because you're gonna make a decision right now, right now while you're in your full senses, right? While you're not triggered, 
while you're not in the heat of the moment when something might go wrong, right? Because guess what? When you're trying to change a pattern, a habit, trying to release something like booze or food or sugar or flour or smoking, like it will come up. It will come up again. Make no mistake, right? The temptation will come up again. The resistance will come up again. We have to realize that. It's not like we just decided to change this habit and everything's just going to go our way. There will be some hard times along that journey. There will be some bumps on that journey. And so what, what this tool is, is you deciding in advance what you're going to do when you hit a bump. Okay. What's going to, if you're trying to quit smoking, what are you going to do when you hit that next bump and you normally reach for a cigarette or you normally reach for a glass of wine or you normally reach for a hostess cupcake or you yell at your kid, right? When you, when that was the thing you were trying to stop doing, or you find yourself gossiping again, whatever it is that you chose to release, it's the moment is going to come up. Okay. So what are you going to do? You get to decide now, because at that point in time, it's a very bad time to decide your, your, um, emotions are going to be high. Right. And it's the worst time to try to decide reasonably, logically, or in any way that is helpful. So right now, today, when you're in a good space, set aside 10 to 15 minutes and you get to say, okay, come up with about three different bumps in the road scenarios that might happen for you. Right. So let's just take my example not drinking. When is it that I drink? One was dinner time. Two might be around going out to dinner with friends, right? Three, uh, this is, this counts also as a meal with friends, but brunches, brunch and mimosas. I mean, right. Am I right? Or am I right? Right. So especially being that sparkling wine is my favorite wine. So those three bumps in the road. Let's say I'm going to go out to dinner. I, I, I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to go out to dinner with friends and I'm going to go to a brunch this Sunday. I get to decide right now in advance if I feel that that desire to drink, to reach out for a drink. I get to decide in advance how I'm going to handle that. So here's two things that you're going to do. You're going to decide what you're going to do in advance. So I can say, well, if I find myself in a brunch situation, I'm going to make sure that I've got uh, mocktail ingredients um, that I can just throw together something quickly, um, like a, you know, a fruit juice inside a sparkling water. I'm going to serve it in a sparkling, in a champagne glass, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for this and this. If I'm at a restaurant, I know that they can put it together for me. If I'm at a house... I can figure it out. I can throw some fruit in there. Brunch is easy because brunch is usually a spread, right? Throw some fruit, some sparkling water. Beautiful, right? Let's say um, that you are trying to release this habit of yelling at your kids, right? Getting into arguments and yelling at your kids. Obviously, there's deeper levels for this one. But in the moment, you're going to decide in advance that maybe you leave the room and you go count and breathe to 10, right? If you need help deciding in advance what your decision is gonna be on what to do or how to behave or what to say, let me know, I'm happy to help you, right? Here's the other thing though. What if you did yell at your kids? What if that moment does come up and yell at your kids and you yell at your kids? What if that moment came up and you did smoke the cigarette? What if that bump came up and you did have a glass of rosé? What we're not going to do is beat ourselves up. We're going to also decide in advance what to do if we sort of stray away from our path. All right. I yelled at my kid. 
come back to my path. What is it that's that I'm going to do to come back to my onto my, onto my path? Maybe apologize to my child, tell them, "Hey, I'm really working on not doing this. This is hard for you and it's hard for me. I apologize." Boom, back on. You're human. Right? You did reach for that cigarette. And like I said, with anything that has to do with addiction, you want to make sure you're getting the right treatment, right? This, what we're doing right here is more on the, um, as, as much as we're digging in, you're going to need, if, if you've got an actual addiction to alcohol, smoking, you're going to need the counseling of, or a treatment that is um, on the, on the more physical level for you. Okay. But what we're not going to do in either case is beat ourselves up. Okay. Got it. So decide in advance how you're going to handle a situation, right? Perhaps for you, if it's drinking, you don't even go to the brunch at all this time around, right? You get to decide. It's, there's no wrong decision. So decide in advance what to do if that bump in your journey comes up. And decide what to in advance what to do if that bump knocked you down. Okay? Nothing's broken. Nothing is over. Decide right now while you're still feeling that self-love, that self-care, that self-compassion, that self-kindness. Okay? This is super, super powerful. Okay. If you have any questions about deciding in advance, let me know. I think I pretty much beat it, right? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Let me know how it's going. Um, I will see you on Thursday. Ciao.